The wilderness and the dry land will be glad. The desert will rejoice and blossom like a rose. It will blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. Lebanon's glory will be given to it the excellence of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the Lord's glory, the excellence of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make the feeble knees firm. Tell those who have a fearful heart, be strong, don't be afraid. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, God's retribution. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf will be unstopped. Then the lame man will leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute will sing. For waters will break out in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. Grass with reeds and rushes will be in the habitation of jackals where they lay. A highway will be there, a road, and it will be called the Holy Way. The unclean will not pass over it, but it will be for those who walk in the way. Wicked fools will not go there. No lion will be there, nor will any ravenous animal go upon it. They will not be found there, but the redeemed will walk there. Then the Lord's ransomed ones will return and come with singing to Zion, and everlasting joy will be on their heads. They will obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing will flee away. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth have passed away and the sea is no more. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice out of heaven saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with people, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, death will be no more, neither will there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. The first things have passed away. He who sits on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. He said, Write, for these words of God are faithful and true. He said to me, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give freely to him who is thirsty from the spring of the water of life. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed toward us. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God for those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined 
to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Whom he predestined, those he also called. Whom he called, those he also justified. Whom he justified, those he also glorified. What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who didn't spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how would he not also with him freely give us all things? Who could bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, yes, rather, who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression or anguish or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord.